Welcome back to Marcus at Work Media. So we got Drake, BBL Drizzy still in his fields. Seems like he's still a little salty about the pop out show with LeBron. Still upset at your boy D Rosen about him being in the Kendrick Lamar video. And he got a long list of other people. He still feels some kind of way about. He went on a whole rampage on Instagram in order to unfollow a bunch of notable people. Let's look at the list, shall we? Okay, so we got Kendrick Lamar, LeBron, we got D. Rosen, we got a few different other people, which we're not that surprised about. Now, why did he choose at this point to unfollow everybody? Now, let's hear what DJ Academics had to say about his number one pal unfollowing all of these people. So, apparently, Drake has now unfollowed multiple people. Kendrick, Cardi, James, LeBron James, Rick Ross, DeMar DeRozan, Joe Button, and more. Wow. I'm going to be honest with you. This is a little bit shocking because, you know, during the whole Meek beef, he never unfollowed Meek. And I remember saying that. I was like, yo, Drake, yo, this nigga's trying to kill your career. This nigga's talking crazy to you. He never unfollowed Meek. I remember that. Never unfollowed that guy. And I always thought, all right, you know, Drake follows like 3,000 people. And he's always following new new artists, new, new entertainers type shit, new streamers. So I always just thought, okay, he's one of them people like once you follow somebody, even if they fall out with you, you still follow them. Uh, you, you know, th this is an attempt here to... Um, Probably draw a line. If Drake on follow them, maybe that's what it means. Shit, matter of fact, let me look. D did I make the unfollow list? Let me see. I'm checking it out. Drake cutting people off now. I'm looking, I'm looking. Don't worry, y'all. Yo, yo, spam sixes in the chat. Big Ack is still on the follow list. All right, I made the cut. Okay, the first round, the first round um, unfollow uh, cut. I'm still there, bro. The level of glazing is absolutely unfathomable. This, what, like, what do we call this? Like, what is this called? This, there has to be a new name for this. Now, one takeaway I took from the whole academics breakdown of what's happening here is the whole time he was in the beef with Meek Mills, he never unfollowed him. Interesting details. He didn't unfollow him. Maybe he didn't see him enough of a threat to care. I don't know. We know he bounced in between his main account and his Friendster account dropping different details that we can see but he's so salty these days due to losing and taking this fat massive ales for the world to see that he had to publicly do something by unfollowing everybody because i mean what else can he do lyrically i mean come on <laughs> we already know that with all of this unfollowing, it's apparently October now, which is October's very own. This is the month that all the Drake stands start celebrating their favorite guy. I'm gonna do my top 10 songs that are perfect for October. OVO season slash winter arc season. There's no better artist to use than Drake for this. See, there you go, Drake. There's a little light at the end of the tunnel for you. See, your fans are still rocking with you. They still singing along to all of these bullshit songs you got out there, which you've all in your emotions and feeling how you're feeling and all of this, man. There you go, man. There might be a hope for you after all, with you preparing to release a new album or song that people are still willing to accept all of that bullshit. So what do you guys make of this situation? Are you surprised by Drake unfollowing everybody? Or do you feel like I feel where you're just like, you know what? Mm, that sounds about right. He is a super petty guy. He's a super sensitive guy. And um, yeah, that's just how he expresses himself. And do you think the people that he unfollowed actually cares? Probably not. But you tell me, put your comments below. Let's talk about it. This is Marcus at Work Media, and I'm out this bitch.